a flute. Very simple. This is an instrument that's not damaged, but we want to do some maintenance to make sure it keeps playing properly. We're gonna check over the pads, make sure the keys all function as they should. I want to do a suction test, which is like this. It's very tight, so that's good. I'm going to go down from the top, look at all the posts and the screws. The screw is backed out just the smallest way, just the tiniest bit. It looks like we're going to tighten that up. Oh, there we go. Just a couple turns. But that's important because if this screw is backed out too far, I'm going to do this on purpose, but let's say it backs out this far. You follow it, notice here, this screw comes loose, but it still sits there, it still goes up and down. Now that's something to look out for on a flute every time you go check this. And I'm just pushing this back in line, putting the screwdriver in the slot, and very slowly, come on, get in there. This is why we have so many different screwdrivers. There it is. Now, I have to line this back up again. But you will see that quite a bit on the flute. See it an awful lot. If it's not snugged up, this key moves. So that's very important because otherwise the pad won't seat. Back in here, snug this back up. I believe if we go too far, this key might bind. But not on this particular brand of flute, but on some flutes, if you turn that rod too far, the rod goes down through it and it binds here, just back it off like we did on the clarinet. Check the regulations, they seem good, I don't see any keys that are bent, key height is good. You want to push down every key lightly, to make sure it's not binding, and make sure you, you do the lever separately. Here's the key, key has a pad, a lever operates a key. And push it down lightly, everything seems to work just fine. So the maintenance is very simple, again we take it heavy key oil. I'm going to touch every one of these posts where it hits the key, where it touches the key. And there's other places where the keys operate. And there's a fine line where the tubes, called hinge tubes, go together. You want to put a drop of oil. I'm putting one small drop, about that big. That's all I'm doing. It doesn't hurt the metal. It does not hurt the lacquer. Very good for the instrument. Keeps rust from getting in there, which is a problem here in the south with the high humidity. Use a heavy key oil because it's very warm here. If you use a heavy key oil up north and it gets cold, the keys will slow down. So you maybe want a thinner key oil if you're up in New York in the winter. But here in the south, the oil dissipates relatively quickly because of the heat. But we have high humidity and this is a way to drive out the humidity of these keys. Again, the spring hook. I'm gonna take one off just so you see. Now this not functioning. And you'll see that quite a bit. Especially when somebody brings you an instrument and said this has stopped playing. Just it was playing one minute, now it's not again. First thing you want to do is check the spring. I put this back on here, it doesn't have to be very tight. That's it. There's a bunch of springs on the flute. Here's two, three, four. For every key, there's a spring. There are also flat springs, which you can't see probably underneath here. There's a flat spring that returns this key and a lever. But they're different. You don't use the spring hook for that. You want to check the tenons. They make the round. Should not bind. Does not bind. Perfectly round here. This is not round. It will bind. And you have to go to the shop because we have a special tool for rounding these out. You want to check the other tenon on the back. Make sure it's a snug fit. Just like that. If you take the fruit, you do this and it falls off, it has to be tightened up and then have to go to the shop. We have a special tool for expanding this. This is bent out of a round. It won't fit properly. It will leak air. That's just perfect. Just right for a young player to be able to play it. Get it on there without damaging the instrument. Flute's relatively easy to maintain and that's all you really need. Again, you have to have just the right screwdrivers. All right, here we go.